Welcome to Insurance Coverage for Home-Based Businesses. Um, we are really excited to bring this to you. We have a lot of manufacturing coverage coming out, and it is so applicable to people who have home-based businesses, people who sell on Etsy, um, you know, things like that. And so we just kind of wanted to bring everything together to show you guys um, really this whole area of clientele that you know, maybe you're missing out on or maybe that you have and how you can expand it and how you can really dive into helping people who have these home-based businesses find some insurance coverage. Um, so I am Alex Hickson. I am the marketing events manager here at Pathpoint. It is my joy and pleasure to put these webinars on for all of you. And then with me today is Catherine Cole. She is an absolute insurance expert here on the Pathpoint team. She has been an AM. Now she's an underwriter. Um, and so she's just super excited to bring this information to you guys. And one last thing before I forget, there is a Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen. Um, so if you have questions at any point, feel free to just drop them in the Q&A and we'll get to them all at the end. Um, so with no further ado, I will go ahead and pass it over to you, Catherine. Excellent. Thank you so much, Alex. Uh, thank you to everyone who's here today. Thanks for logging on uh, and to hear about our uh, new coverages that are available. Uh, so we're going to just start with our overview here of what we're going to cover today. Um, this is just a quick 30-minute webinar, so we won't uh, keep you all uh, all afternoon. Uh, but we're going to dive into the product overview, so what coverages and uh, carriers we have. And then we're going to go into eligible businesses uh, and what kind of products that those businesses might be producing uh, in their home uh, and then selling uh, to consumers and then how you can help them uh, with PathPoint. So go ahead and let's uh head on off to uh the product overview um so oh actually maybe i'm gonna oh yes i am okay so what qualifies as a home-based business uh so you might be asking you know hey i have a friend who does x y or z or a client who does x y or z is this something that uh, qualifies as a home-based business uh and as long as they are producing uh goods or offering a service in their home um, or doing the administrative and managerial work um, for that business in their home. Both of those can qualify as home-based businesses. Uh, and then the, the great question, should these home-based businesses have insurance coverage? Uh, the answer obviously right there on the screen is yes, uh, but we know as insurance professionals uh, that uh, being underinsured is not great. Um, being not insured at all is even worse. Uh, and a lot of these small businesses are indeed um, completely uninsured because they believe that uh, because they're being based out of their home, that their homeowner's policy, uh, that standard HO3, um, would carry uh, any type of coverage for any risk that were to uh, take place. Uh, this is not at all true. Uh, home insurance does not... Uh, usually cover uh, small businesses uh, taking, uh, who have uh, a risk in the home, uh, and they also most likely don't want to be covering that type of risk. Uh, that's not what those type of policies are obviously built for. Uh, so many of today's small businesses are um, home-based, and it might be uh, kind of an end cap market that you haven't thought of yet. Um, you might have uh, a few that, uh, you know, clients that are already on your books who might be running another business out of their home or their partner might be running one out of their home. Um, so always great to be asking those questions um, of your current clients. Great. So uh, kind of back to the homeowners versus a commercial liability policy um, for a home-based business. Uh, you can see the exposures here like falls on your property, uh, injury and damages caused by a product or service. Uh, litigation that would have to do with those claims, uh, as well as being able to uh, include additional insurance via endorsement for vendors that you might be selling a product through. Uh, as you can see on the right, all of these are covered. All these types of um, exposures are covered by uh, a commercial liability policy and not at all covered by a traditional homeowner's policy. Okay, so uh, kind of getting back to asking um, those good questions about how to uncover home-based businesses that might already be, um, you know, someone that you, um, someone who is in your book or someone that you know. These are some great questions. Um, if they have kind of a hobby that pays, uh, I think that's what a lot of home-based sellers um, might just see it as, hey, this is a hobby that I do when I sell 
my woodworking on the side. I sell my candles, um, but that they're creating the exposure there that they, they might not even realize um, both to their home um, and to themselves um, by being, you know, a risk for um, litigation or a risk um, in terms of property damage if they're selling something like a candle that could potentially do the damage uh, down the road. Um, so just some good questions to keep uh, kind of in your back pocket um, when you're going along your day to day um, and talking to clients. Okay, so uh, obviously you've probably come to the conclusion that we have something to do with this. Uh, so Pathpoint, uh, our newest um, kind of delve into the manufacturing uh, industry is through these home-based businesses uh, because this is where a lot of the manufacturing in the United States takes place. Um, and then here are going to be what our um, coverages are that we're able to extend. Um, so a GL uh, with up to 1 million per occurrence and 2 million aggregate, uh, a product liability with 2 million, um, including products completed uh, in there as well, uh, a deductible starting at 500, uh, and then uh, premiums also starting at 500. So a lot of these smaller businesses are going to be um, below minimum premium of our carriers. Um, so you're probably going to see a lot of your, you know, small, small businesses start at that 500 um, and then slowly go up from there. Um, we can write premiums of up to uh, 25,000. So if you've got something that's a little bit bigger, um, but it's still home-based or they might have, uh, you know, a small warehouse that they're renting or something like that, uh, because they've expanded outside of their home, those would still be risks that we would uh, want to see as well. Uh, new ventures, employer and online sellers are all classes that we're um, happy to take a look at and that our carriers are looking to write. Uh, and then we have over 450 of these uh, classes and products that we can uh, quote, instant quote, um, without uh, one of our underwriting managers having to take a look at it. So even better for you, quicker, um, they're small premiums, so the more that you can work through, uh, obviously, the more profitable that you're um, going to end up being in your day to day. Awesome. So some of those 450 uh, instant codes um, are going to be right here. Um, so there's kind of four uh, sectors that we're really looking to write in. Um, those being there in the middle, the cosmetics and beauty, beauty, beauty. Uh, clothing and apparel, food and beverage, and then general goods. Uh, obviously, you can see probably a, a few of these that are more popular than others. Um, I've seen a lot more bath bomb sellers than teeth whiteners, um, but you know there's definitely a uh, kind of a product for everybody in here, uh, and maybe one that you've already seen or somebody you've got on your book that you'd like to shop, um, and probably a lot of small businesses that are uninsured, uh, maybe that you know that are doing selling on like Etsy, uh, Facebook Marketplace is a big one um, where you know the sellers on there might not think that they need to have insurance just because something is um, you know smaller and home based. Uh, so take a look at these kind of a mental snapshot, um, but you can always go online and you know type in what you're looking to uh, quote or what the product is that they're making um, and be able to add the actual class codes from there. Uh, one thing I probably know about the GL that we're offering is that it is more towards a producer, manufacturer, seller, um, rather than any in-home um, services that are being offered, like dog sitting, um, you know, doing styling or um, hair or something in the home. Those types of services we wouldn't be uh, market for as of right now, but we are very focused on the manufacturing and product sector. Awesome. So you can take a break from hearing me talk at you. Um, well, probably not actually, but you can take a moment uh, and type any questions in there uh, that you have for Pathpoint. For me, it doesn't have to be about the manufacturing GL, though we are very excited about it. About it. Um, hopefully it'll open up some new doors, um, both to us and obviously to our agents uh, to be able to get some of those on your book. But if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the Q&A. Um, and then, Catherine, you kind of touched on this earlier, but are there any home-based businesses that are too small to have insurance coverage? Not at all. Nothing too small. Uh, if you're producing anything uh, and selling it, it's a great idea. Uh, <laughs> a very highly encouraged idea to have insurance, um, you know, even those that are 
Um, just doing a couple of sales a year on maybe some larger things like woodworking, um, you still would want uh, to have that coverage, uh, both for yourself and for your, uh, for your customers. Uh, that way, you know, if something happens, uh, you know, even if it is because of your handiwork, you know, we all make mistakes. It's better to have those coverages in place um, rather than to, to look back, obviously. As, as we all know, as per insurance professionals, it's better to have the coverage. Mm -hmm. I did take a small poll yesterday. Uh, I have some friends that do some home-based businesses. Uh, one makes candles um, and started hers um, in 2020. Um, so obviously during that time, we've seen a huge growth in home-based businesses. Uh, another one had just started hers, a t-shirt printing business, um, specifically to um, make some t-shirts for the Super Bowl. Uh, and then um, one more does dog grooming. So obviously not within our realm, but all three of them uh, told me that they did not have insurance um, specifically for their products um, or, and they're all home-based businesses. So they were all relying on their homeowner's insurance if anything were to happen. Uh, to be covering that. Uh, so they <laughs> they all went to their agents right away and said, hey, I think I need to, to find something for this. So it's a great thing to talk about. It's a uh, wonderful thing to be aware of. Um, and the fact that you know that you have a, a, a broker, a wholesaler um, that has access to a product like this, I think it's just a great thing to keep in your back pocket as an agent. So uh, but I appreciate everybody joining today. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, and we'll be happy to, to answer any questions you have. Uh, and yeah, just very excited about this new product. Um, should be a whole new realm of possibilities. Yes, thank you so much, Catherine, for taking the time to explain this all to us and give us this information. And thank you guys so much for joining. I know you have very busy days, so I really hope this information was helpful for you. We do have a webinar coming up next week on um, how to write manufacturing for food, beverage, clothing. So if you do have any um, any clients out there, any friends or family members that do have these home-based businesses, um, we are diving even deeper into getting the insurance coverage for certain areas. We already did one for cosmetics and leather goods, as well as shoes. So you can go back to our blog to watch those recordings. Otherwise, you can join us if you know anybody who's manufacturing food, beverage, clothing at their house. Um, We'd love to give you some more information on how to find coverage for that. So you can scan that QR code to join. Um, you can also scan the QR code in the top right corner. That'll take you to app.pathpoint.com if you want some more information. But thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you have a most wonderful day. Oh, and Catherine has one more thing to share. I, I have one more small plug here. Uh, since these are um, usually our smaller uh, home-based businesses uh, that would be seeing the like $500 premiums, those are financeable um, with us through our partner Ascend. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, it might sound like a lot to be uh, kind of handing out if you are a smaller seller. Uh, so just keep in mind that we can finance those in um, over 12 months. So uh, just a good thing to, to know as well. But thank you, Alex, for everything. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and we will catch you on our next virtual event. See ya.